This is the Zempire Speedy Bed single size camp stretcher. It's a, a nice, sturdy, easy to set up stretcher that's gonna make you sleep comfortably no matter where you set up camp. I'm gonna run through all the features. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hey folks, Ben from Snowy here today with the Zempire Speedy Bed Camp Stretcher. This is a really sturdy and easy to set up camp stretcher. Now when you buy it, it comes in a bag like this, a nice zippered bag with a carry handle, measures about a meter in length, and it's about 15, 16 centimeters in um, width and height here, depending on how well you pack it up. Now the whole unit weighs about eight kilograms, or just over eight kilograms and it measures 196 centimeters in length from head to toe, this very end here. Now there's no bars on the end, so it is soft there. You don't have your feet or your head resting on any bars. And it's about 64 centimeters from the edge of this pole here to the edge, the other edge on the same side. So if you're talking about actual sleeping space in between without lying on the bars, if we take the measurement from this seam here, which is sort of well inside the frame here and go across to the same seam on the other side is about 54 centimeters. And with regards to height, it's about 43 centimeters to the sort of the top of the bar here. So by the time this sort of sags down under here, you're probably a little bit under 40 centimeters in the middle, depending on sort of how you're sitting on it. Now it's made on top here with a, a durable 600 denier polyester. Now the polyester is not going to stretch a lot, so it should stay this firm for the life of the stretcher. At the top here, you've got a bit of a padded section. I wouldn't call it a pillow to sort of support your head, but it is a slightly softer spot to rest your head on with a bit of a velour finish on it. And the frame is a powder coated steel. There's a few little plastic components in it, but for the most part, it's a powder coated steel. Now, a common questions around stretches are how stable are they and how comfortable are they? Well, comfort's a bit of a, uh, depends on, on your own preference really, but in terms of stability, these stretches are pretty good. There's a little bit of movement there, but that's mainly because these legs are actually sliding on the ground a little bit. Definitely no sideways movement, very minimal end to end movement. Now I'm six foot 185 centimeters, so if I lie down with my feet at the end here, put the head back, my head's just resting on this little pillow section here. I feel quite comfortable. Lengthwise is pretty good. So in a sleeping bag, I'd fit comfortably on here. In terms of width, it's okay. I can certainly feel my arms touching the, the bars on the side here. So a little bit of extra width might increase comfort, but otherwise I fit pretty well on this stretcher here. Another common question is, can you put a mat on top of these um, stretchers? You certainly can. Obviously the downside of that is the mat can slip around. So if you're able to sort of secure the mat on top, that'd be better. Now I've got one of Zempire's popular mats here, which is called the Monster Mat. Now this measures just a few centimeters longer and just a little bit wider than the stretcher here. And it kind of sits up on top of the, the bars here. So statically, that sits pretty comfortably. If I get on top of that, it sags down in the middle. Now, this isn't done up really tight here, but if I lie down on this one now, with that, that actually feels quite comfortable and the mat doesn't feel like it's gonna slip off by any means. I guess if you get it on and off the, the stretcher all night, the mat might move a little bit and you wanna be careful you don't lean on a section of the mat that's not on top of the stretcher. But otherwise I'd say that certainly increases the comfort of this stretcher twofold. And it does fit pretty neatly. Probably ideally if you went a size up, this would come out a little bit wider and this mat would sit down inside these edges here to stop it from sliding around. But for the single size stretcher here, there certainly is an option to increase the comfort or if you were to get a slightly narrower, slightly shorter mat, it's gonna fit on here pretty well. Now one more thing I wanna show you on the stretcher here is the feet. Now, they're not the, the flattest of feet. They're a feet that are sort of friendly on a tent floor and some that aren't. These aren't too bad. There's a plastic cap on there. You wanna make sure that cap is always on there because without that, these metal bars can put a hole in your tent floor. You can see on this one too, it's just a plastic cap over the end there. Look, they're gonna be all right on a tent floor. I do always recommend if you've got feet like this sitting directly on a tent floor, then an extra tarp possibly inside the tent or just something underneath this is gonna give that tent floor just a little bit of extra protection in the instance that these are just constantly rubbing in the same spot. And that's pretty much all the features to run through on the Speedy Bed Large from Zempire. It's a really easy setup, really sturdy stretcher, and you're gonna sleep soundly no matter where you set up camp. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions though, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel, we'll send you all the latest information. We'll check out some other videos like this one down here.